Hi, it's time for another Cosmic Forecast. We're going to look at where the planets are in the sky right now and interpret that from a human design perspective, a jinky perspective, and an astrological perspective. That means that we're going to use the body graph to see what's activated in, in the body, in the energy. We're going to use the frequencies of the jinkies. We're also going to look at the, the wheel, the rave mandala. Right now we have the sun that has moved in in Aquarius in gate 41 today. It has been in gate 60 for the last 4.7 days. And last time that I came on, we were still in gate 61. So basically we have this whole transit of the 60 that we've been through and it's just changing around the cusp. It's just changing into the 41. So we're gonna look at that. And I'm going to share the screen from Genetic Matrix, which is the program that I use because I love to be able to see those systems together and to be able to interpret, not just as like a table with a lot of numbers, but actually see it in, in the more circular truth of, of what it is. So here you can see the body graph, you can see the table of all the activations right now, and you can see the astrological mandala. So we have that together and we see not only the gates or the gene keys or the hexagrams that are activated, we also see what element are they, they in. Uh, so we are in Aquarius right now, the sun. What I was saying right before is this movement. So the, the direction of the sun and the planets inside the rave mandala is counterclockwise. So we had, uh, last time I came on, we had the sun in the 61. And then it's been here in the 60 for the last six days. And now the sun is in the 41, conjunct with Saturn. A very interesting uh, placement. So together right now we have the sun energy, masculine energy, what's illuminated together with the teacher we can say of Saturn or even we can also speak about as a dark feminine that kind of <laughs> uh, kills everything that's that's not that's not love you know that's the way we can interpret it as well or the teacher. Um, so we have them together 41.1 and 41.3 is so really, really, really close. And then we ha also have still Jupiter. So they are they have been together for a while, but now they're moving apart, Saturn and Jupiter. That's the 19th, which is the gate of, of our needs. We have it in the root centers. It's about what we need for survival. And we actually have that 19 connected to the 49 right now, which is Mercury. And it's also an Aquarius gate. So you can see how much Aquarius we have right now. So here we have this channel that has to do with a mutation that's happening in the solar plexus center right now. And this is what we are going to be through the next few years up to 2027 and here what I feel with this channel is a lot about what we thought we needed and it also comes a little bit from the shadow frequency of being spoiled you know I, I remember myself when I was around 27 I was like I'm adult now so I have those I have those needs that I that I'm allowed that I'm entitled to have. That was shadow frequency. I'm entitled to have this because now I have a certain age. I have a certain like I'm making a certain amount of money. I have the right to have these these needs. And I feel like what's happening right now in the world is that many of the needs that we have before and where we felt like th that was normal to us, it's kind of being seen in another perspective. Just the the fact that in many countries we're on lockdown or things like that so you kind of have to really feel into your true grounding of the root center and say what is it really that I need you know what is it that it's really essential maybe it's a better what's essential and what is more like my ego needs that would be a good way of putting it what's my ego entitlement and what is my true need so one thing that maybe we have realized if we're for example if we if you're single and you're not living with somebody so after so many months maybe without almost any physical touch you you might realize that that's oxytocin and everything that comes through physical touch is really important for you or maybe you realize that when this is happening and you live in an apartment you actually needed to live in a house so at least you can be outside in your own garden so things like that. I feel like there is a there is an accentuation as well this week since we have this 
this Jupiter and this Mercury speaking about this or uh, highlighting, we could say, this channel. And it's also connected to the 22, which is still in Neptune. So it can also be, again, an illusion or a dilution, a uh, dissolution of what is it really that is a need, you know, a kind of like veil even that is that is not allowing you to really see see clearly, but also a deeper kind of grace and acceptance in looking into these things and, and maybe seeing things that you haven't seen before. We could see looking at the body graph again, the 54, which is about aspiration, which is even in the low frequency about greed, which would be, oh, just if I have my needs met, then that's that's what I care about. I don't care about others' survival. I just care about my needs. And I feel like this time in in the world and society has have had us look at that because you know they say many young people when there's a virus it's not are not going to really suffer from it but do you care enough about the people that are going to suffer from it more because their health is more compromised so these are the kinds of questions that are coming up and we also see that we only have this emotional center like the emotional wave life as spiced with emotions emo mo emotions like moving through us emotions are not here to be stuck they are here to be moving they can be peaks they can be waves it's a spice of life and then this grounding the root but it's also about adrenals and survival so again it can be a week where it is accentuated to kind of feel that that um, survival again like you know do i have those basics need to survive or not and then the 41 is the anticipation of what's coming so that's where we can we have the sun and we and we have uh, when we have saturn in that anticipation okay we just started a new year both in the sense of the of the normal calendar year because we're still in the very beginning of the year but even more so this is the gate of anticipation this is the first gate this is a start code on in 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 the human genome if we look at the jinkies if we look at the I Ching, it's the first gate so it's like kind of opening that the first page the first sheet of a new of a new book or a notebook where you're going to write a new story and it's completely blank right now so you have the possibility and you know I look at the body graph here and I see that completely open splenic center. I'm like, okay, it's all about not having the fears. In this splenic center, we have our instinct, our primal instinct. So it is about different kinds of fear, like the fear of survival, the fear of failure, all these fears. It's almost like it's asking us to, to kind of turn that around and look us in the look ourselves in the mirror and and start and start this new year without being driven by fear. I also see that we have this second gene key and this is of course very much what's gonna move. We have the moon in Taurus. So even if that's gonna move through very fast, we have actually the line is moving every 76 minutes if I remember right in the moon. So you're gonna see in less than you know half a day, you're going to have the moon moving into another gate and it's gonna stay a little bit longer into Taurus because you can see if one gate you know, we have five different gates in Taurus. If it's in two now, it's still going to be in the 23 and in the eight. So it's still going to stay a little bit in Taurus, but it has to do with direction. So right now it's to not be driven by fear, but being driven by that inner guidance, by that inner orientation, intuition, feminine sense. And you could also see the 31 here that we have in the earth that is connected to the seven, which is the gate of, of inner guidance, the gate of, of that, also the boundaries of, of being able to say no to what doesn't work for you and say yes to your own leadership. The 45 is another leadership gate that is here and that we have in the North Node right now. So it's, it's, it's a tribal leadership, but I feel like the tribal leadership is not just care about your tribe and your family. Like it's almost like caring about the human tribe and to stand up for that human tribe without fear. And then of course, we still have this Pluto activation where we had the grand con conjunction last year with inspiration. So are you listening to your own inner truth? Are you listening to like the higher great mystery or are you listening to the mass psychosis? It's, it's an important question. We still have the South Node in the 26th. So here we have a trickster energy. So it's again like that, that discernment of like what is true 
and and also look at yourself where where my you know where is the tendency in you to manipulate the situation to sell something for value that maybe you know is higher than the true value so look at those tendencies in yourself look at the tendencies of like giving your giving your cup before you drink so here we have like that kind of pod mind the dolphin pod where they care about each other but in order to be able to do that you also need to care about yourself uh, so that is what I feel is very alive is there anything else that I wanted to I mean even the MC so the MC kind of has to do with like the outer has to do with uh, with career it has to do so it's interesting to see that we have that MC in cancer which is very much you know, and a sign is a water sign is internal and 52 is about stillness. So it's almost telling us right now when it comes to what you do in the world, maybe it's a little bit more the time again for the internal um, and to, to find the stillness on the inside to be able to move out in the world and then speak and speak from, from that place of, of inner stillness. Um, and I would say as well, looking at the wheel, you know, we see that we still have this interesting Capricorn Earth sign, Cardinal Earth, and then we have Aquarius Air, that we, we have planets in both. And really, a lot of planets are making their way into Aquarius right now. And these are the, <clears throat> the gates of 41, 19, 13, 49. Again, the 13 is going to, that's where we are going. <coughs> Sorry. So there's a lot of discernment again, discrimination, discernment. What works for me? What doesn't work? What makes sense? What doesn't make sense? anticipating how to live better not how to live in more psychosis or more fear but how to live better the 13 it's really about hearing everything and still be optimistic about what's coming looking at the past looking at the corruption looking at the fear fears of feeling the fears even of the body or the survival or the splenic center and still say no i'm confident moving forward and it's getting the help of that 31 and the 45 the leadership the leadership that cares about the collective, the leadership that cares about the tribe. And that tribe is what I feel is like is gathering humanity around a cause that is a joint cause. So it's not just about my tribe against your tribe. It's about a joining and gathering and coming together and caring about the whole, even if the leader might even be a bit reluctant. It's the leader that shows them by the people. Yeah, so that is what I would say for this neutrino weather on January 21st in 2021, the, the very first day of the, of the new year, the rave new year. And I guess I'm, I'm just wishing everybody a happy new rave year. Thank you.